2021. <laughs> Scarlett O'Connor, she is beach body extraordinaire and absolutely stunning, absolutely fabulous. You have such an impactful story. I would love for you to share with the fans what your story is. Oh, I wouldn't know where to start. But in, in short, um, being through some unfortunate events and uh, I was in a coma in 2017 and, and then I got into competing and went on a real self-love journey. And during that journey, I found NFM and GBO and set myself a goal to go from coma to Miss Atlas. And in 2019, I was brought out and won Miss Atlas. And somehow, through co two years have passed, we've all been through COVID and yeah. the worst time ever. And now we're back out here two years later and I've just won. <laughs> <laughs> and this is your I'm first like time speechless. competing. Since then, is Since, that yeah, yeah. Oh so on stage, I was yeah. so nervous. I didn't expect to have done well. I've actually messaged my coach to say, I'm really sorry. I didn't do very well today. Oh. And then being called back up and said, they've told me I've won. So You're I'm like, like, I can't believe it. Well, it's just, it's so incredible to, to see the, the triumph that you have endured through tragedy. And I think that that is such an impactful story to tell because, you know, so many people are dealing with that and you have so they much are. joy and so much love and so, bright and you know I've watched your team you know they have a, a team of 10 from the UK who have just destroyed oh my god y'all just took it I mean look at this ring she's a woman oh, <laughs> look at this ring isn't it incredible I'm like oh so talk about what you've done to from 2019 to 2021 uh, so when I won in 2019, one of the first things I did off stage was ask for feedback. Yes. Because it doesn't it doesn't matter where you place, does it? You can always improve. Yes. And so I asked them what I needed to do, and they said I needed to improve my rear end. I needed to get a bit more of a booty. So I've spent the last two years trying to grow this thing, yes. <laughs> so that it would Never look a little bit different. Never bad no, thing. exactly. Some little apples back there. You know? Yes, yeah, lovely. Actually, I've now got a booty that I didn't have. <laughs> Yes. So yeah, that's kept me occupied during COVID. Yeah. And I know it's been a tough time for everybody, hasn't it? And I think yeah. it's really, really important in life to have goals. Mm -hmm. it, because when you're going, and we all go through shit. Yeah. We're, sorry. Oh, we're, fine. We, we all go through, <laughs> <laughs> we all go through, you never know what somebody's going through, do you? And like when you're going through stuff and it's, things are tough and I've been there, I've, I've, I've had my darkest days. It's so, it's so helpful if you've got something that you're working towards. Mm -hmm. Those days when you don't want to get out of bed, when sh stuff's going wrong, to have something you're working towards. Like, I think that uh, we hear a lot about like the impacts of trauma and depression and everything else. And I'm very much like post-traumatic growth. Yes. It's all about like, yeah, working towards something else because that's what's going to get you up on those bad days yep. when things are tough and doing something for you. That's what's so important. Like doing it for you. And doing so many it for people you. Forget about themselves. They so do. Often. I think that's where the become a parent. Comes. Yeah. You. It's all about your children, yeah. or it's all about your partner, or it's all about work. Yeah. And and you end up just doing all the things you have to do, mm -hmm. rather than. Life. Mm -hmm. And you only get one life. Yeah. I've almost lost my life multiple times now, and so every day is a blessing. I know that Saturday comes around again next week and after, but. Today is the 4th of December 2021 and it won't come round again. Yeah. So it's important that we all, yeah, that live for today. You said that. Yeah. We don't get it back. Mm -hmm. And it's so easy, isn't it, to say, well, I'll do it tomorrow or I'll do it next week or put things off, put ourselves last. But we don't get it back. And as, as morbid as it might sound, even this second, people aren't waking up. Yep. So, like, you've got to live for today, live make the time. most of it. Learn to love yourself. Learn to put you first and do things for you. It's I love that. Such a powerful story and you're such a bright individual and you have such a spirit about you and I appreciate oh. that and not letting the, the hardships take you down because you, you're so so brilliant and stunning. Oh, Congratulations, you. Scarlett. You deserve oh, it. Thank you. Thank you, so thank, thank you so much. Thank you so much.